grow the soil. Like maybe you've lost 20 or 30 centimetres of topsoil and it's a pretty just crappy subsoil. As is the whole of Australia. <laughs> 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 Um, so if you if you are wanting to you know get your soil microbiome happening, is there spores in there, or could they blow in from a good paddock or something there. like that? Yeah. Unless it's been about the only things that don't have any kinds of um, the sort of life that plants can associate with are uh, uh, you know like mine site like where, where soil has been brought up. And several hundred metres down or something, you know, like we like what's called the over, no, not the overburden, what is it, the next bit that comes out. <laughs> anyway, um, so they, they do need, and that is a place where you would need mycorrhiza would, if you want to um, revegetate, you know, at mine sites, mine site rehabilitation, they definitely do have to put mycorrhiza because that deep, the soil that's been brought up from deep down has never had plants growing in it and doesn't have any life in it. The other example is if you uh, use a dredge to clean out an estuary or a harbour or something and you're taking sand um, that's been underwater for all that time and you bring it up and you know, sometimes they put artificial sand dunes in and they put all kinds of plants that grow in sand dunes and they die. And, and yet you could put them in a sand dune somewhere else and they, they grow perfectly happily. And they realise it's because the sand that's been underwater for all that time doesn't have mycorrhizal spores in it, doesn't have any microbes in it really that are going to be able to survive in a terrestrial habitat. The plants just die. But all you have to do to get the plants to survive in one of those artificial sand dunes is go to a sand dune that's got plants in it, get a little bit of the sand, like, you know, probably a ton of sand or something, but each plant that you put in, you just put like a handful of sand underneath it. So you just re-inoculate the soil. Once the plant forms an association with those microbes, they can spread through this, through that sand with the roots and everything. And before you know it, your, your whole sand dune is re-inoculated. Um, and I mean, that's, a, that's something that if people really wanted to, you could find a really healthy area of grassland or something like that, where you felt that the soil biology was really good and you could maybe just get a little bit of that soil and try it, just put it under some plants or something. But as a general rule, unless it's been underwater or it comes very deep down in the soil profile, it will have enough in it for your plants to be able to activate that. And remember that even in a healthy soil, most of the soil microbiome is dormant or inactive anyway, like in a drought, for example, they just go into hibernation, they're just dormant in there. And, and when it rains and some plants grow, even if they're weeds, it will reactivate that soil microbiome.